במיוחד היום עם אמריקה, אני יודע מה זה אמריקה, אמריקה זה דבר שאפשר להזיז אותו בקלות, להזיז לכיוון הנכון. מיסטר פרייר מיניסטר, אתה אומר אוניקוויבקלי, אתה לא יכול לאפשר לימיטד, פול, אני כאילו של פריז, על סדמנט. This president said, you got to stop expanding the settlements, and they just keep expanding the settlement. The announcement of the settlements, uh, the very day that the vice president was there, was insulting. Why can't Jews and Arabs live together? Jewish settlers taking over a Palestinian home, dumping the furniture in the garden. Israel wants peace. I want peace. President Obama is looking, and as you see him, he starts to grab his chin really hard, and he's staring, and he gets that glare in his eye. If you listen to Netanyahu, you heard the sarcasm in his voice. I didn't hear sarcasm as much as condescension. And I barred him from the State Department. Israel wants peace. I want peace. We've all been heartbroken by the violence. especially the death and injury of so many innocent civilians in Gaza. That's why we have been working with our partners in the region to pursue a ceasefire. It's the latest confrontation in a series of growing tensions. Prime Minister Netanyahu's plans to address Congress on March 3rd, two weeks before the Israeli election, is causing new fractures in an already brittle relationship. The White House is furious with the Israeli leader for accepting House Speaker John Boehner's invitation. Netanyahu to do something that is going to be seen as such a deliberate and really pretty egregious snub of President Obama and to make you get a sense of really how, forgive me, wicked this whole thing is. They think we don't pay any attention and we're just a, complete, a bunch of complete morons, the United States citizens, like we wouldn't pick up on what's happening here. The telephone number is 1-202-456-1414. When you're serious about peace, call us.